Time to live. Time to live, also known as hop limit, is a mechanism that limits the lifespan or lifetime of data in a computer or network. TTL may be implemented as a counter or timestamp attached to or embedded in the data. Once the prescribed event count or time span has elapsed, data is discarded or revalidated. In computer networking, TTL prevents a data packet from circulating indefinitely. In computing applications, TTL is commonly used to improve the performance and manage the caching of data. Time to live on IP packets. To ensure IP packets have a limited lifetime on the network, all IP packets have an 8-bit time to live, or hop limit, header field and value, which specifies the maximum number of layer 3 hops that can be traversed on the path to their destination. Each time the packet arrives at a layer 3 network device, the value is reduced by 1, before it is routed onward. When the value eventually reaches 1, the packet is discarded by the device that receives it, as the value will be reduced to 0. Whilst this won't prevent network issues, caused by a routing loop or similar, it reduces their impact, and may help avoid router failures. As it is an 8-bit field, the maximum possible value is 255. Default TTL and Hop Limit Values Default TTL and Hop Limit Values vary between different operating systems. Here are the defaults for a few. As you can see, the TTL or Hop Limit, seen in packets from a host, could in part be used to identify the operating system in use on that host. Time to live and DNS caching. Time to live value tells local resolving name servers how long a record should be stored locally before a new copy of the record must be retrieved from DNS. The record storage is known as the DNS cache and the act of storing records is called caching. TTL is part of the domain name system. TTLs are set by an authoritative name server for each resource record. TTLs are used for caching purpose. For example, www.networkencyclopedia.com TTL value is 86,400 seconds, which is 24 hours. The higher a record's TTL, the longer the information will be cached, and the less queries a client will have to make in order to find the domain. TTLs will be used by the resolving name server to speed up name resolving by caching results locally. Setting shorter TTLs? It's possible to set shorter TTLs. However, it can cause heavier loads on an authoritative name server, but can be useful when changing the address of critical services, like web servers or MX records, and therefore are often lowered by the DNS administrator, prior to a service being moved, in order to minimize disruptions. Common TTL values. Usually TTL value is 86,400 seconds, which is 24 hours. This is a good starting point for most records. However, you can set higher TTL for MX or C name records as they are expected to change very rarely. If your service is critical, it is recommended that you set TTL to 1 hour. Time to live in HTTP. TTL may also be expressed as a date and time, on which a record expires. The expires header in HTTP responses, the cache control, max age header field in both requests and responses and the expires field in HTTP cookies, express time to live in this way. If you want to learn more about networking concepts and definitions, don't forget to press the subscribe button. To be notified, when our channel releases another video, Click also on the bell icon. And don't forget to visit our website. NetworkEncyclopedia.com